your girl. I know y'all are like, who is that? Who is she? Where's she been? It's your girl, Samantha. Welcome back to Lovely Sambo's Life. All right, so I am going to just be, well, I just got out the shower, so I'm going to do something to my hair while I talk to you guys and just give you guys a quick chitty chat on where the hell I've been and why haven't I been on YouTube and why I quit Facebook. Oh, by the way, this is some African Pride coconut milk and honey leave-in conditioner. Um, my kid is taking a nap, so I was like, let me take advantage of this time to make a quick video. So, what have I been doing? Well, first, of course, being a mom, being a single mom, first and foremost. Um, yeah, that's like the most important thing that I've been doing. Um, a lot of people have been asking me why I got off Facebook. I got off Facebook probably mid-July. Okay. I just came to a point where, like, the people that were on my Facebook friends list have been on there for years and years and years and years and years. Ever since I, uh, like, started my Facebook page. And I just got tired of seeing the same people saying the same stuff. Everybody trying to be a philosopher. Everybody trying to compete. I don't know. I just I just grew out of it, basically. And I'm not judging because I used to be on there, you know, with the memes and, you know, giving out positive advice and yada, yada, yada. But I just grew out of it. I got tired of fucking clicking on that app, seeing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? And also, I just, um, I don't know, I just wanted some privacy. You know, like, I've got some situations going on in my personal life where I just feel like I need to protect my son, you know. Nothing bad is going to happen to him, but I know that there are people that are probably trying to keep up with me and my kid, um... That stems from probably his father's people. Um, and then that's another question, everybody. Always, I'm going to have to do uh, um, a... T that, that's another whole other video topic. Where is your baby daddy? I'll do a video on that, okay? I won't be bashing him. I'm not here for that stuff. But to sum it up, he is incarcerated. And he lives a lifestyle that I am protecting my child from period period <laughs> um but yeah we're good my child is good uh as y'all see i've i may have gained a couple pounds i've been eating good living good stress-free you know um i'm the type of person that when i feel like i need to better myself i i isolate myself to focus on me and God and my kid. That's just how I am. <laughs> like, it's just how I am. Like, that's just the way that I choose to revamp my whole energy and aura. And it gives me a chance to step back and see people for who they really are. You know what I'm saying? And see myself for who I am. You know? So, yeah. Um... I got the fucking hair. I know y'all see this glow up too. I know y'all see this glow up. Not a lick of makeup. Just some, uh, I just spray this on my face every day. Rose water. Well, I spray it on my whole body. It's, it's better than lotion. This and, um, witch hazel. Yep. But yes, I missed you guys. I, I never intended to completely stop doing YouTube, I just, you know, I'm human. Let me take a step back and, you know, focus on my real life. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm the type of person when I am, like, going through that isolation period. Like, I don't, I don't want to fool with anybody. I don't want nobody fooling with me. Just let me gather myself and I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just how I am. 
That's the Leo in me that, you know, fuck it, freaking hair. Get out of my lip gloss. But what else? My son is great. He's such a big boy now. He's like, this summer he like had a growth spurt. Um, he's talking. He's... He's amazing. He's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'll talk more about him and my child's father in another video. And there'll be a story time because I've had a lot of questions. People like men, men have like always messaged me like, where your baby daddy? And I know they're probably asking, you know, to try to, you know, make a pass at me. But it's always a question like, you're literally just always doing this, just you and your kid. Like, Where's the baby daddy? <laughs> he exists. Um, he's a good guy. You know, he just made some mistakes and he's paying the consequences. Um, yeah, that's that on that. But um, we made a beautiful son and yeah. What else has your girl been up to? Just getting thick. Trying to get thick. <laughs> Getting thick in all the right places, eating good, living good, uh, staying prayed up, you know. I've had some crazy, I've had one crazy thing happen to me that kind of fucked me up. Um, my house actually got broken into, but for some reason I wasn't like upset or sad or anything. They just took like my TVs and wall hangings and stuff but for some reason I didn't care because I've already been restored like times 10 <laughs> like okay okay God I see you okay but to the guys that did it like God don't like ugly and I've already been witnessing your bad karma <laughs> and I don't even want to witness people's bad karma but God placed me there to witness their bad karma for doing that to me um but it's all good you know it is all good like i feel like god like removed those material things and like restored me with better <laughs> it's crazy like it didn't upset me it upset my nephew my family more than it upset me so oh well but that happened um what else? I don't really be doing much, but just taking care of my kid and keeping it cute, trying to stay healthy so I can live a long life for my kid. Um, yeah. Uh, I do have some ideas that I have uh, written down on some story times. I'm going to start doing story times. Um, yeah, I got some juicy story times. Of course, the first one, Where's Your Baby Daddy? Um, what else was another one? Um, how do I like being single? Um, what do I feel about marriage? Do I ever want to get married? I've got, I've got a whole list of stuff that I'm coming with. But I just wanted to make this initial comeback video to let you guys know, baby. I'm still here. Um, I'm human just like everybody else. I'm sure I'm not the only person that's on YouTube that sometimes feels like they need to just take a step back, you know? Um, yeah. I'm trying to think <laughs> what else to say. Uh, oh, this cream that I just put in my hair is thebomb.com. It's cream of nature, uh, pure honey. Curl Activator Shrinkage Defense for Dry Dehydrated Hair. Pure Honey, Rich Coconut Oil, Creamy Shea Butter. It's awesome. And it's good on my baby's hair. It's got like a thick, and it smells so good. It smells so good. So good. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I just um, wanted to come back on and let y'all see my face and see that I'm still healthy and happy and um, I don't post much I haven't been posting much on Instagram either um, but I'm coming back baby I'm coming back I'm coming back better better than ever um, 
I felt like I had way more to tell you guys. <laughs> now that I'm on here, I can't think of, think of it. Uh, I'm just letting it roll straight through. I'm not even going to edit this video. Um, what else? <laughs> My life is boring. But boring is good. Boring is drama free. Um... Well, I did have some situation from people in my past that were, uh, that were, uh, it was some riffraff, but I let all that shit go. Like, they'll probably watch this video. Hi. Um, they, like, showed some stuff from my past that was so creepy. Like, why does your man have any remnants of me from, like, back then when we were dating? That is so creepy. Like... If I was married and my husband had <clears throat> pictures or old text messages or emails from his ex, I would be like, what's going on? Why do you have any traces of that woman? But hey, I feel like it may be an obsession with me. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Yeah, that's creepy. Um... But that shit, it didn't move me at all. Like, it just showed me just how creepy people are. <laughs> like, that is so creepy. Like, you got text messages and emails and pictures of me. And you're married? That's weird. That's really fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, whacking off to me when your wife's not around? Like, y'all should have been burned that shit together when y'all first got together. Like, there should be no remnants or traces of any of of, of any exes <laughs> if you're married. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, to each their own. But I'm a, I already know what that's about. Like, I know what that's about, baby. You just can't get over me. You just can't get over me. I have that effect on people. But anyway, I wish them well. Like, I, well, you got a whole file cabinet of, like, all the old shit. Like, that's so weird. That's so weird, y'all. But there's some creepy people in this world. But anyway, as long as nobody touch me or my child, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You can bring up the past all you want. Like, that shit ain't me. That shit is not me anymore. Yeah. That's another story time. So I am uh, thinking about doing a Surviving a Narcissist Part 2. Um, I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it, boo. But anyway, alright. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to come in and give you guys a quick update. Um, thank you all for you know, supporting me, um, to all my people that came, that watched me, that, um, I got from a, blah, 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 that came over from my Facebook page. Actually, I'm going to make a whole new Facebook page and just kind of dedicate it to, like, my YouTube videos and just post, like, go watch, new video up, new vlog up, and, yeah, add all my friends that I want on my new friends list add them for my original page and just get rid of that old page like yeah facebook is whack social media is whack if you let it like people believe anything they see you know like just because you see it does not mean it's true and real like and that was another thing it's like a bunch of fake shit like i can't get with that fake shit i can't i can't i can't do it I, if I know you in real life and then I see you on social media, like, trying to portray something you're not, like, it's not my place to say anything to you. I just don't have to follow you or look at it. But, all right. Once again, I'm going to wrap this on up. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Um, be sure to check out all my other videos. Um, yeah, come on in and subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, become a, a lovely Sambo lifer. And uh, I love you all. Bye!